and we're on. The green light is on, which means go. Hello everybody, Mr. Fit Geek here. Welcome, welcome to this video about this little thing, this little butte. This is the Apple Pencil. Um, excuse me for the bad camera quality, I'm actually recording from the uh, FaceTime camera directly on the Mac here. And as you can still see, this has the tab on it. I haven't even taken off the plastic on this thing. Um, I've literally just ripped off the outer plastic from the box. Pulled it out, literally got the pencil and started going with it. I've, I've, I've been in possession of this for about two hours, so I've barely had a chance to have a proper play about with it, to be honest. Um, but what I wanted to do was because the reason I bought this was literally for making notes on the iPad. Um, I've actually, and I've only been in three days of possession of, oh, screen's going to be funny. This is the iPad Pro. This is the 9.7 inch iPad Pro in space grey. Um, need to get a decent case. This case isn't very good. Um, love it. So far, I love it. I've literally come off the back of an iPad Air, and this is flying in comparison. It's, it's actually crazy how much faster this is. It's bonkers crazy. But just the speakers, the screen, um, the overall speed of it is so thin as well. I can't, didn't think any thinner than the iPad Air, but seriously, this this is this is great. And then I thought, you know, what? I really deliberated if I got the Pro, would I want the pencil? And I thought I've tried to to take notes before, and this is this is what I'm going to start doing. So this is just literally my first kind of impressions and a few little tests. And I want to just test it on the native notes app within uh, that, that that is here, and also in uh, Notability as well, which is a note taking app I have used previously. Um, but just basically, I mean, obviously in notes here, you've got your pen, you've got your your like kind of your big fat marker, uh, you've actually got your pencil, uh, your ruler and your eraser as well. So, um, but just my first impressions with the pencil, and excuse me if I'm not constantly looking in the camera here, um, let's choose black. Um, first of all, I was also really reticent about, is this going to be just like some cruddy old stylus? Because let's be honest, stylus, styli, styluses, whatever you want to call them, do not work for writing. If people can get them to work for writing, they <coughs> all play to them. Just having some green tea. Bottoms up. Um, but seriously, the palm detection is brilliant. You put your palm on it there, and then you can start to write. Can't spell there. Um, and yeah, it just, apart from the fact you're writing on what is clearly an iPad or a piece of glass, this just feels really nice. Excuse me, I mean, I don't have the best handwriting at all. Um, you know, I love, you know, this is just the notes app you can change. You know, I want to have a blue pen, so uh, blue pen. I'm writing quite large just to exaggerate. Let's actually, I'm going to go for a pencil now. I'm going to go for a red pencil. Um, this is what I mean, I'm never going to be a, I'm not a designer, I'm not an artist, and I'm not going to use this to sketch stuff, but. You know, I'm just so impressed with, you know, if you use it as a pencil, you can do thin little strokes here so that you can see. Oh, yeah, you can press a bit harder. But then, you know, you can do this and you can do this shading. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's just like using an actual pencil. It's it's ridiculous. I use for my work on a day to day basis. I use a notebook and I've actually filled up the notebook. I make so many notes and I think handwriting notes is so much better than typing notes. For me, it is anyway. It helps me remember stuff. Um, and I have my iPad with me all the time. I want to have it with me all the time. And therefore, I want to be able to just jot down a note when I need to. Yeah, typing typing notes on an iPad, it's just not as quick as, as grabbing your pencil and then you know making notes on here. Let's erase all of these. Um, and one thing I really like is you can get this ruler in the Notes app, okay? And then you can draw a straight line. And I love this. This is so clever. Look at this. You draw, you just put your pencil just against it, just enough. Just draw across and you've got perfect straight lines. <laughs> little things. Little things, honestly. That, I mean, that's the Note app. And I like the Notes app anyway on, on, um, on the iPad and iOS. I think they've improved it immensely over the last few years. You know, that this handwriting stuff now with the pencil has just made it even more useful. I like the fact you can do folders and so on and so forth like that, but it's not quite as feature-packed as some of the others. So Notability was one of the other ones that I've used previously, and I know this is um, a really popular app, and I mean, this is great. This is this has got a few more tools, really, to use. I mean, you, you kind of click on the pencil here, and you've got many more options. I mean, you've got like a uh, the line that I think goes from 
thick to thin, or you can go for the one that's the same the same length throughout or width throughout. You've got all different types of thickness as well. Um, you know, you've got obviously a colour palette there. I mean, let's just go for a maybe one like this, this kind of thickness. We're on blue, yeah. So um, it just. I mean, you can probably hear it tapping on the screen, which feels a little bit weird initially. Um, but oh, it actually is a really nice writing experience. And the thing is, is that this feels like writing with an actual pen. It feels like ink is coming out at the end of this. Clearly it's not. It's quite a hard tip on here. And I know that after a while these do rub down apparently. So you get a spare tip in the box um, and then you need to buy spare tips. I have no idea of the cost of those. They're probably um, too much, but anyway, more green tea. I have just worked out, I've just done a 30 minute hit workout. I've had a protein shake and I'm gonna have some green tea just to keep the metabolism going. Um, but this just feels so good. Uh, let's just choose the eraser. Let's do this and let's go for a big marker pen. So, and again, you know, you press it hard, you know, and it comes out. Oh no, this is the normal big fat marker pen. Um, so if you choose a, a, a pencil as you, as you press it harder. Um, but it just feels really good. And the great thing about this, I don't know whether you can see, is that, I mean, you can write... Obviously, you can write like this if you wish to, but you don't need to, and that's what you used to do before. You now properly put your palm on it like it's a piece of paper, and then you start writing. It's it's immense, because previously you would put your palm down, and um, the whole thing would just fall apart. So, oh, first impressions, I'm really pleased. Um, not cheap at all. I mean, these are, um, in the UK, these are £80. I think in the States, these are $99. I believe so you know it's certainly the most expensive <laughs> expensive pencil I've ever bought and probably will be the most expensive expen uh, that word I'll ever buy so but just really good um, now notability as I said as an app I've used before and what's really great this is that you can you can change it to um, to go to text so then you can start to add your text and if you wish to do that you can also do things like annotate PDFs so that's something I'm really excited about is when I start because I, I do a lot of copy um, a lot of proofreading in my in my job and you know like to, to mark up stuff and, and I really hate to use a computer with Microsoft Word I keep looking over here but I need to look here and using Microsoft Word and putting the comments in and track changes I'd rather Personally, I prefer to print it off, get a piece of paper, get a red pen and mark my annotations on it there and then give it back to the other person. Um, or just, 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 just do that to make sure I'm reading stuff properly and I can make sense of it. This is great. I can get what I need, put it on here, um, you know, start to start to go on to this, you know, make my, make my changes, go over. Um, it's just so good. Really impressed, really, really impressed. It will even make me use the Notes app a bit more. I love this ruler thing, it's absolutely brilliant. But if ever I wanted to kind of get into drawing, not ever going to, but just, I mean, this is the shading and the, you know, I don't know whether you can, I don't know if it's coming through properly on here, but you can, if you look really closely, it is literally like using a pencil. It's pixel perfect. And you can, you can literally go through the most, you know, if I draw a square here, and you can see like the really fine lines, you know, and if I want to just literally join these bits up here, yeah, there you go. With a stylus, it would always be a couple of mil out on the screen. So anyway, so far, my first impressions are brilliant. I, I think I'm completely going to use this for note taking. Um, I have used OneNote as well previously. Um, I prefer Notability compared to OneNote. So, but I think with the combination of using the notes on the iPad and the Notability, I think this thing is going to be absolutely amazing. I have bought myself another Apple case. I uh, can't find it. Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Uh, a little kind of zippy case because then I can keep my pencil in this here. This is one of the things I've heard against this is that unlike the Surface Pro, I think the Surface Pro has a magnet you can attach to the side of the Surface so you, you've always got your pencil. You know, there is the danger of just losing this bad boy. Um, so if I just keep it on my case then it's with me all the time. Oh, and just the last thing with this as well that I noticed was that you plug it in you got the end there, that goes into the iPad to charge and I noticed it, I plugged it in earlier on for about 30 seconds and I literally saw 
the charge go up and up and up and up within 30 seconds. Apparently a 15 second charge gives you an hour of time to use this. 15 seconds. That's just absolutely ridiculous. So you could leave that in for five minutes and you've you've got a ton of charge on it there for, for probably all day. So it's really, really good. So I hate to be a fanboy, but I can't even spell. What's a pencil? We'll say that's a foreign version of... What is it? Pencil? Oh man, he says Monday. I love Apple Pencil. Pencil, doofus. So, yeah. Anyway, um, bit rambly, this one. Sorry about that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of go through this. So, yeah. Um, I'd love to know other people's comments, how people have got on with this. If you've got the Apple Pencil, if you've got the iPad Pro, how you're kind of getting on with the two. Um, and... The, the smart keyboard, that's the next one. Um, I probably won't get the smart keyboard yet as it's £130. It's a ton of money for a keyboard. I have my MacBook. I have another computer at work. Um, I really don't know whether I'm going to... gonna. This is not going to be my workhorse, my iPad Pro. So I just don't know whether, whether a smart keyboard is the best investment. However, uh, any comments, I'd like to know. So anyway, hopefully you found this mildly useful if you have then great please drop it a like obviously that supports my channel uh, as this is a new channel so any likes would be greatly appreciated and any subscriptions as well and uh, more videos to come and i will actually be doing a video on the ipad pro um going through it in a bit more detail with my review um of this as well um as i said it's all changing so far so good so thanks very much for watching um so mr fit geek over now and as always keep fit Keep fit, hence why I'm in my sports gear. Probably in dire need of a shower, so Sorry, too, too much information, TMI. Um, but yeah, keep fit and stay geeky. So anyway, happy Monday to you all, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Where's the stop button?